justified is probably the only word that comes to mind. It's just, I'm glad I didn't give up. I'm glad she didn't give up. Because there were times when both of us wanted to give up. Tonight, a woman who was shot at by Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies has been found not guilty of assaulting a police officer. Good evening, I'm Laura Painter. And I'm Chris Thomas. It all happened more than six months ago in Rancho Cordova. Take a look at the body cam video. Sacramento County deputies accused a woman of driving towards an officer. They say she used a car as a weapon and that led to officers opening fire. But this week she was found not guilty. ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sanga is live in the studio tonight after speaking to the family. Yeah, Chris, she was able to go back home this week after being in the jail since late last year and her defense team was able to win this case, even as they felt it would have been a lot easier if the court would have allowed them to use all of the evidence. For the last six months, it has been an uphill battle for Kariana Lyles and her mother, Jamie Kristen. There's been a lot lost. We've, we've both lost a lot. Sheriff's office. This all started on November 20th. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office say they responded to a call of a woman breaking into a Rancho Cordova home on Algibi Way with a knife. When deputies arrived, they determined everyone in the home was safe and then found Lyles inside of a car parked in her driveway near along Malaga Way. The Sheriff's Office says when deputies asked her to get out of the car, Lyles drove away. Deputies say it was towards them, prompting them to open fire shooting towards the car around seven times and injuring her. She wanted protection because a neighbor had threatened to kill her dog. She she called the police. She asked for a, a standby and they didn't come to stand by. She was arrested and eventually held to stand on trial on a single charge of assault on a peace officer. During trial, Lyle's lawyer argued that she wasn't trying to run over the deputy and did not see them as she tried to escape the scene. The evidence clearly showed that my daughter was innocent. A jury in a Sacramento courtroom agreed Lyles was not trying to injure a deputy and acquitted her of the single charge. They're super happy that my daughter is out. She didn't deserve to be in there. The deputies on the stand at her trial have admitted that she committed no crime at her neighbor's house. Public defender Carrie Claremont says she had to convince the jury Lyles was not guilty because the court would not let the jurors see the footage of the incident past the point where the deputies opened fire. The court ruled that anything having to do with the officers shooting at Ms. Lyles was irrelevant and therefore excluded. And I was frustrated too because if the jury had seen the whole video, they would have seen the fact that she straightened out her car and didn't continue to run her car at the deputy. But Claremont overcame the challenge by piecing the deputy's body cameras together to show what Lyles intended to do. I know that these two men are still working as deputy sheriffs and I, it's hard for me to see that when I know that they've shot at a woman fleeing into a residential neighborhood in midday on a holiday week, putting countless residents at risk. And Lyles was not available to speak to me tonight as the family says she is resting and recovering after being jailed for more than six months and focusing on her mental health. And Garth Paul, have we heard it all from the sheriff's office? Yeah, we did hear from the sheriff's office this evening. The sheriff's office says they cannot comment because there is a pending civil case. The Sacramento County District Attorney's Office said the same thing and that they're continuing to investigate this officer-involved shooting. Now, on that civil case front, the family is suing the county, the sheriff's office, Rancho Cordova police, and the deputies involved for, for what they say false detention and excessive force as Lyles was having a mental health crisis. So this case is in federal court. The next uh, appearance is going to be in July. Wow, certainly a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. Excellent reporting, Garth Paul. We know you'll continue to follow that and keep us updated. Thank you.